Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Uh, it's time for the second level of fighting Duel Magus. Yeah, now you'll notice we've, we've leveled out the stave skill. So, um, like I said earlier, your best uh, chance to, um, to get a multiple heal spell would be to put a bunch of points into Courage on Hero. Because that doesn't have to level out, it has to get to like 83. Me. I never imagined you could squirm for so long. We get a lot of cutscene here. Healing, I would have crushed you in an instant. But never mind. It is time we brought this little show to an end. Agreed. What a pity. What a pity it will be to finally say goodbye. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun. Had some laughs. I don't think the shot of Munchie is uh, incredibly necessary for the, the... I mean, I guess unless you forgot about Munchie, but, like, it has, you know, Munchie being there has nothing to do with anything, really. I mean, we all know where this plot line goes, but, uh, and, you know, and spoiler alert, so that being said, uh, and again, spoiler alert. Well, it's Hero's innate ability to avoid being cursed that keeps this from working. Which is why the curse at the castle didn't work either. It doesn't have to do with Munchie being in his pocket. What? Why isn't it working? What kind of trickery is this? What are you, some uncursable... Ah, no, anyway. You leave me no choice. Now... You will face my true might. Actually, he did have a choice. He could run. If he just avoided us for the rest of the game, I mean, like, you know, he could he could disappear. He could jump around. Like, if in this whole big world, if he didn't want us to find him, he could just go. Yeah, he could go somewhere where we couldn't go unless we got the ability to fly. That would really, that would really slow things down. Now, uh, you should know, like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll probably talk about this when we get to it. I'm not there yet. Uh, but there are some, there are some incredible similarities. Between this version of Duel, of Duel Magus and, uh, uh, Evil Leopold. A and I'm sure that's on purpose, but I hadn't noticed it until, uh, right now watching this in playback. Like, specifically the wings. Obviously the voice, but the voice is, you know, stock. We're getting to a point where it's not the characters talking anymore. It's the staff. If that was also a spoiler for you, well, I hate, you know, yeah, we would have went through over that next video anyway. So, uh, there are some things you can do against this form of, like, uh, I believe it's uh, Insulatal will... Um, help you against his freeze a bit, his free spells. You don't want to cast bounce because that'll that can reflect your healing stuff back theoretically. Um, although you can give it a shot, so. I wish, uh, evil, I, I wish Duma, Dumagus' second form had a dancing ability. Like, make people dance, like, did underpants dance? That would be so, would be so funny. <laughs> it would be so ridiculous. And none of the bosses past here really have one. Like, uh, a ridiculous dancing ability. So, let me see. Okay. The recipe for highly strung cheese, I'm gonna go over this is uh, uh, cheese plus water weed mold, and then you take that cheese, which is cool cheese, and add water weed mold to get chili cheese. Take that cheese, add two water weed mold to get cold cheese. And then you take cheese and add uh, the red mold, I can't remember what it's called, and get spicy cheese. You add two more red molds to that cheese and get super spicy cheese. 
And then if you if you take cool cheese and super spicy cheese and add rock salt to it, you get highly strung cheese. There you go. If you want to make angel cheese, uh, you need I have a I have a thing. You need milk, uh, premium mold, and a uh, uh, yggdrasil leaf or whatever. Uh, or Yggdrasil, however you pronounce that. I, my Welsh is rusty. Anyway, uh, you would take uh, milk and premium mold and the, the leaf. Uh, premium mold is the waterweed mold plus the red mold plus uh, uh, another leaf. So it'll cost you $2,000 at the bazaar to do that. Uh, plus some change for the molds and the... So there you go. Those are things you can make now. I think almost all of the cheeses are available. Um, almost all of the cheeses are available once you get the third slot in the alchemy pot. Uh, there, uh, one of the exceptions to that, I believe, is I have one here. Oh, uh, the c -c cool cheese is premium mold. It's like you gotta make cold cheese and then add premium mold and dragon dung. And dragon dung is pretty hard to come by till you get to the dragon graveyard. No. So, Jessica died. I would strongly suggest before you come here that you do pick up a leaf from the Argonian Bazaar leaf shop. If you wanna pick up more than one, uh, there are various ways you can do that. Uh, one suggestion is to uh, put one in with both, like put one in with both kind of molds and the alchemy pot, buy a second one, and then cancel the recipe to get your ingredients. That'll give you two. You may be able to find one around Bowroom, uh, Bowroom's tree. If you know about that side quest, which we haven't done. Uh, I will eventually do it because I love it. I love the, uh, I love the whole characterization of, um, of Balram and kind of his being lost in the afterlife. It actually makes me cheer up, so it will be hard for me to commentate it, even in post-commentary. Probably especially in post-commentary. It's one of the more touching moments in the game, actually. That, like, this game is really good at moments that are just kind of horrifyingly awful. Like, all of the charmless stuff is really just makes your blood boil. All of the Dominico stuff is so bad. Like, but there are a few moments of kind of amazing emotion and self-sacrifice. Um, uh, Marta's stuff that comes up when we get to our coost is pretty amazing. And, uh, and Balra. And I suppose it's, it's moments like that in video games like this that really, you know, that's the thing. That's the, the really spectacular part of, I guess, uh, the writing a plot line to an RPG is making you really care. So essentially, our, our 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 weapons against him are going to be, you know, Helm Splitter, Insulatal, uh, and Oomph. And you can't overestimate the power of Oomph. I mean, it doubles your attack. And full heal. We'll be casting full heal every every turn, almost. So yeah, essentially at a, a, a three full heal cycle, like get Jessica, then get Yangus, then get Jessica, then get Hero, then get Jessica, then get Yangus. I mean, like, she has to be healed twice as often because she's so weak. Some of this stuff be taken care of later in the game. If we had the dragon robe at this point, even if we weren't using the monster team, just the dragon robe alone would reduce his ice attack by 40 points. There are other things we could have at this point, like the Bardish of Binding. And the hero spear. But but we don't. We don't have any of those things. <laughs> we have nothing.
We have nothing but our over-leveled selves. And the ability to pound away at him. I mean, it's all about staying alive in this fight. I know that sounds really stupid, but... His multiple people attacks are so powerful. It says a lot about him that th it, this battle is harder than the battle against three of him. I also, and I didn't know this until just recently, if I had upped Yangus's courage just a little more uh, than I have it at this level, he would have gotten kabob. So, like, ah, oh, how important would that be? Yeah, I don't end up getting that until uh, after after the what are we, after Evil Jessica and after the Dragon Graveyard. And then I don't care how overleveled you. If you could come in here with Omni Heal, uh, and uh. I mean, Omni Heal is expensive, but but if you can come in here with Omni Heal and Kabuff, uh, you might you might have a, a far easier time with this than I did. We we get it. It's not. And we could have gone a couple more rounds with him. I mean, it's not like this battle couldn't have lasted five more minutes, because it could have. Essentially, till we till we started running out of uh out of magic points. That would have been our big problem. Magic points on our hero, because he's our only healer. Because, you know, I... Because I kept Angelo at level 12 and dead. Which, by the way, was the level he entered at. I mean, he hasn't gained a single experience point since I got him. And that's going to stay. When, when, you know, when we beat this game, we'll, be, we'll beat it with dead Angelo. With his coffin on the wings of Imperia, I, I assume. I guess that remains to be seen, but... I don't really anticipate uh, anything... Like, I anticipate this being the biggest problem in the game. So there we go. We killed him. He's dead. 12,000 is nice. That's better than a liquid metal slime. Now you'll see what level Yangus' courage is at. And literally, if I had put these seven points in, or his humanity, I'm sorry. If I had put these seven, oh, maybe not. Yeah, he gets share magic first. I think you gotta get him up into the early 40s. But considering how worthless his uh, level 100x skill is, it's not. It cannot end now. Well, it can end now. Alright. I hate it when I turn into a statue and then explode. It's so hard to put myself back together. What a morning routine that is. Alright. Anyway, there's a dumb joke in there. I know there is. Something about... I don't know. I, I can't think of any... I, we done it, Gab. I had a little... We had us going all around the houses. <laughs> I bet the old codger and the old princess are back to normal now. They'll be having a right old time. Now, Abbot Francis. Yes, now, Angelo suddenly is like in and the scene and alive. Do as I please. How about you, Jessica? Feeling better now? Dolmagus has got his comeuppance. Hmm. What's wrong? You can tell me. I'm a good listener. Yeah, he's a good listener because he's dead. Defeating <laughs> like... Dolmagus isn't going to bring Alistair back. It's hard to know what to feel. Yoo-hoo! Ah, Grandad! Finally transmorphed back to a human, eh? And not at all. Hang on, Grandad. You still look like a freak. <laughs> I am not your Grandad. And if you must make fun of someone... Perhaps you should look in a mirror. He wasn't making fun of you. We've just defeated Dolmagus. You and the princess should be back to normal. And I should be dead, but he's not. You defeated Dolmagus? This can't be. 
Why on earth hasn't the curse been lifted? Yeah, well, that's a good question. Oh, wait, we know the answer. Already. Oh, no, no, no. Why? Why isn't it wearing off? Ever since he stole the treasured scepter from my castle. I was thinking about this. This might be a lot more fun. Uh -huh. Yes. What about the scepter? What if somebody else had picked up the scepter, I don't know. Not, probably not Ant, but like Yangus. You mean like this? evil Yangus would have been fun. <laughs> yes, that's it. My family's treasured scepter. Oi, Granddad. Adam, we better be getting out of here soon. Hmm. I suppose you're right. We won't accomplish anything twiddling our thumbs here. Let's go back to Argonia for a while. And if you'll notice, like, he actually, I believe... Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say Trode actually comes into Argonia, but that's la that's later in Arcadia. Or maybe not. Maybe he is in here. Yeah, he is. Medea's outside. Like, he specifically said he wouldn't go into Argonia because he didn't want, you know, Jessica's promise well done, or everyone. Medea's promised husband to find out. How we will proceed from here, but for tonight we must rest. I will spend the night in the wagon. I don't want the princess to be lonely. Sleep well. Well, that's kind of nice of him. I mean, he's a king, and like you know, he just he wants to hang out with his daughter, which is sweet. Because, you know, that equals suffering for him. Because he's a king. All right. So, uh, when we come back, uh, Jessica is gone. As Yangus is going to tell us right now. See you guys Gav, for that. Gav! This ain't good, Gav. It's Jessica. She ain't nowhere around. When I woke up, the bed was empty and all the stuff had gone. Bye, everybody.